going to show you how I edited this in Adobe Photoshop. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. If it's your first time around my channel and you would like to learn all about car photography, then go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. Now I'm super excited today because I'm going to shoot the new TTRS. It's a monster. comparison to my RS3 this thing just pulls away so fast although it has the same engine yet yeah, so powerful anyway go to shoot that today and I'll keep you posted on how it goes now the other thing that I'm excited about seven days are left for the contest if you haven't participated yet maybe you should go ahead and check it out I'll leave a link in the description below all right enough of this let's head first to Lightroom to show you the before and after before we go ahead and do the edit so uh, this was a part of the M Club um, event that I shot about two, three weeks ago. And this is the shot that I got uh, straight out of the camera, raw format, and it's dull. It's not bad, but because we shot it in raw, so there's no saturation contrast and anything. It's just there, ready for us to add our magic on top of it. So this is the before, and now this is the after. All right, let's jump in into Photoshop. Now, let me tell you one thing about this edit. I did not stick with my workflow entirely. I would usually first clean up the, the image, uh, like from anything that I would like to get rid of, like these poles over here, and the light over here, and this other light over here. But for some reason, I did not do that in order. So the first thing that I did is actually I added a dodge and burn layer for some reason. I think I love how the BMW looks like here and there. And I just wanted to emphasize the highlights and the shadows. So I created that layer and I've set the blending mode to soft light. Well, you can do it on overlay as well. Actually, I kind of like the overlay effect more than the soft light. I'm gonna keep it that way. And let me just show you quickly how it's done. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to uh, command select all, press M right click and fill. And I'm going to fill it with 50% gray. Let me bring that to here. Okay. I'm going to switch the blending mode to overlay. Now we have a layer in which we can dodge and burn. So I'm going to select a brush. I'll, I'll decrease the flow up to well, overlay. 2% is good to start with. I'm going to pick my uh, whack and pen. I'm going to use the whack. So let me show you briefly how this is done. So now we have a white brush. Let me just increase this to 100%. So I have the white brush and if I do this, it's gonna dodge. And if I change to a black, it's going to burn. Let's bring back the flow to 2%. Now I'm going to get a white brush and I'm just going to dodge, actually, yeah, dodge around this area, like so. I'm going to do the same over here. Now I'm going to do this quickly, but you can um, definitely do it better. So just to show you how it was done, not that I'm going to actually use it. And I'm going to switch to black. I'm going to do this. Bigger. Now, if you see the before and after, it's very subtle, but it gives that details of the car, that detail in the car. All right, let's do, let's continue doing this now, because I know where to dodge and burn. I've done that previously with the BMW. We have these over here that you can definitely burn. Then switch to white. And then do the same. The black. And then switch back to white. Now this is the before. This is the after. And yeah, it's not very clean because I've done it so quickly, but you can fine tune that. 
can do it on your own. So that's the dodge and burn part. Now let me enable my layer back. All right, and then I create a visible stamp layer. So create new. And I went ahead and added a camera row filter. So what I did was fairly simple. Again, I just added a bit of clarity to the image. Like so. I'm just eyeballing it. I think it was around this. I think a little bit less uh, there. And then I did a graduated filter to darken down the sky and just give that detail to it. I think it was around this. Now these are the settings that I've previously used. I added a bit of blues to the sky, decrease the exposure, lessen down the highlights. For some reason, the shadows up. That's wrong. Let me bring that down to about zero. All right, blacks should be zero. Uh, clarity of minus seven, which is okay for the sky because I didn't want to add that much of a contrast to the sky. And I desaturated the sky just a little tiny bit. Now we need to remove the sharpness out of it to zero. And there you go. So now this is the before, this is the after. Look, look at the image, it just looks different already. So let me just move this and then put these back and there you go. Okay, yes, let me enable this. All right, there is one thing that I did before actually darkening the sky and I've actually removed the poles. Let me show you how I did this. So I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. It's very simple, straightforward. I'll select a point. I'll just use, I'm actually clicking Alt and I'm selecting a point and like so. Of course, for, this is for the demonstration purposes and I'm not doing it accurately, but you get the idea. I did the same over here and I removed the pull. I did the same thing over here, all over again. But you get it, that's easy. Now I thought of removing those lines, with the car, but I thought that, you know, they add a bit of, I don't know, symmetry to the image. It just looked good and I didn't want to remove them. So I just left them there. Now if you want to remove any other spots, you can do. So let me go ahead and do it. All right, let's delete this and enable the cleaned up layer. All right, then I darkened the sky. So I had two camera raw filters instead of one. And the reason why I first cleaned up and then added that graduated filter, that's because it's going to affect the exposure in the sky. And once I start sampling, I might have different tones when I clean up the image. So first clean up the image and then do the graduated filter. All right, then there is an empty layer. I have no clue why I left it there though. Anyway, I added a vignette using the curves adjustment layer and I've just brought down the midtones a bit down and uh, As you can see, I've just masked this car away So it will be the center of attention Just lessen the distraction around the car. All right. The next layer is just a contrast layer I added a linear contrast not really Big of an effect, but it just added a bit of more contrast to the image. Now you can remove it if you feel like you had enough of contrast. I then added a selective color and I just wanted to really bring out the yellow in the car. And then I added a hue and saturation layer and that's just to boost the yellows in the car so much. All right, All right then I added a color balance just to remove that green tent. I don't know if you've seen it. Do you see it? There you go. It was just like a blue, sorry, a green tent that I just wanted to get rid of. And I just played a bit um, in the mid tones. It's where the settings and the highlights and then the shadows. It's very important to get that balance right. I just don't like these hues and tents getting into the image before color grading. Otherwise it will affect the entire look. Now, as I always do, I just add a color lookup table and just to color grade the image. 
and give it that final look. Now, if you're again not familiar with LUTs, I have an entire video explaining how to color grade your photos with LUTs in Adobe Photoshop. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. All right, and that was it in, in Photoshop. And now let me show you what I've done in Lightroom. So now here's the photo in Lightroom and I've just suggested the overall look. I haven't done anything crazy, um, but I did add a bit of exposure and just took down a bit of the highlights. I thought this part was just like burning out too much. So I tuned that. I again adjusted the yellow. I just loved that yellow and I think it's not really the color of the car, but I think I've morphed it into a new yellow sort of look. I again boosted the saturation of the yellow and I did the same thing with the hue. All right, moving onwards, I added a bit of sharpening and I've masked out the sharpness of the car itself. Um, I don't like to sharpen the body of the car, but I just want that details within the car itself. And of course I wouldn't sharpen the sky either. So there you have it, and that was it. Now if you have any further question or any query, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll try and answer that for you. And by the way, what do you think of the new glasses? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing glasses now because I can't see got problems with my vision. But yeah, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. All right, YouTube, I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.